Oh, baby. Hello, everybody. Oh, this almost had no audio. I'm kind of sick. Right now. Like, nauseous. But, I'm gonna record this anyway. Um. Whatever. Whatever, man. I, I don't care. <laughs> um. Nintendo Direct. I have nobody else with me right now. Because it's early in the morning, and all my friends stay up late and wake up late. I mean, I do too, but, you know, I wanted to. <gasps> Damn. Ooh, so exciting. Shit's starting. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not-so-distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Fucked up everything. Are he in the cat? Oh, he is. Is he a castle? Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Is that like that? Found power, chaos spread across the land. Now it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the flower this kingdom. This is a very pretty game. Oh, Nabbit. They put Nabbit in this game. God damn it. <laughs> in this presentation, We'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. Do like this me. is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Oh, they're, they're pipes. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. This game looks so fun. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, Why can I watch and this slow it's through be caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant uncanny. mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. Yeah, a rich so variety of courses await in each spikes. world. So Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In awesome. these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, uh -huh, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any okay. order you like. Once you play the course, you can quickly come uh -huh. back to it through the course's menu. Oh, it's you see, that's a to find the ones you want to play again. That's a good. I, that's such a. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Yeah, people get hate these things. And Onward and upward. They're just silly. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Psycho. I if you can get over there. Four coins. You'd share your water with me? Besides Mario, wow, you can also that is play a... as Luigi. Luigi. Peach. Daisy, one of two toads, and Toadette. Cool. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. 
They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Yeah. Pushy. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Cute. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. That's awesome. Water Hum darts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Okay. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mom moths will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping uh. mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, I like how they Locky look. Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. Next, let's Bubble. look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you! That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, hey he's cute. Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. This is what everyone was fearing. The bubble form allows you to blow light, floating bubbles. <gasps> they can be used light. to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also he's... drift toward nearby foes. These JoJo's bizarre. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them, like platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. Speed running tact. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky, Oh, or hard-headed enemies of breeze. That's nice. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Whoa, wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power-up. In a pinch, bust out a power-up. Or swap them to better fit the situation. They say what? <laughs> I'm not gonna, this I'm not gonna is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. Okay. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. You can end up these. in a free fall. I think you've seen all these. Uh... Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. Oh, that's fine. Or you might float through space. <gasps> Mario, even Mario and two shit. Transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? I think that's happening. Or a spike ball? Or blow up like a balloon. When you touch a wonder flower, oh, no. always expect the unexpected. Wonderful. Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Okay. Got a green star type shit. 
You'll also earn a wonder seat as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Okay. They're poplins. Gotcha. Oh, As your adventure progresses, go. you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Mm. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special mm. ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. Okay. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching yes. High Jump Badge. Bring back the Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the Safety Bounce Badge. Yo. Easily find important items using the Sensor Badge. Draw in nearby Moolah with the Coin Magnet Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. What's the you will not stop dashing with the Jet Run Badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. <laughs> Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. So. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Okay, that's what this is extra. I was wondering why there are two... Up to currency. four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. <laughs> Pick your favorite character and deal. jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another in. player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. That's fine. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, or if you're an elephant. That sucks. <laughs> if you connect online, you might see other players on the world map. <laughs> and in course. That's so fun. Oh, that's cute. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing that's... as live player shadows. That's so cute. Just like in that's local fun. Co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. That's fun. Players can see, send that's... greetings. <laughs> that's really fun. And share that's such a... items. It's not exactly co-op, but it's such a cute way of doing it. <laughs> You'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure that's... together. It's so fun. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. See, you can this purchase is... standee surprises from the poplin shops to add more to your collection. This is you the kind of know which standee you of... get. When you come I'm into contact about. with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Aww. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. This is such a... This is, I love this. It's, While playing online, it's different, you also but... have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a oh shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Uh, start a race. Then make a run for it. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder this, seed this or is, defeat a boss instead. This is a video. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world 
or syncing up with friends for riveting races. You can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day! Made Mario Maker 2 races bearable. Oh, no, he's in this one. I... I just... <gasps> oh my god, every, every little, every little, every little thing... Every little spawn details. Jump into the unexpected so with Mario and friends. Whoa! when Super Mario Bros. Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model, Mario Red Edition, is also on Mario the way. Red. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Cool. The Nintendo Switch OLED model, Mario Red Edition, launches October 6th. Cool. Very cool. Nice. Um... More information on this game, the better, honestly. I already thought it looked pretty fucking good just from that small tease we had um, last direct, but god damn. <laughs> this is this, this, <laughs> really good.